Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Rachel Hance. She's Logan County's Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Christy. Rachel, thank you so much for being with us today. And I'm so excited that you're here because today you are going to give us some tips on how we can organize our lives. Yes, um, and yeah, I do wanna talk about some organizational skills today. Um, and before we do that, I, I, I do wanna take just a minute to talk about stress. Because when we talk about stress, um, there are so many ways that we can relieve stress by being organized. So stress is going to lead into our organizational skills. So lots of things um, make us stressed. I know you have stress in your life. I have stress in my life. Everybody has different kinds of stress. So the first thing we want to do is talk about ways that we can relieve stress or ease the amount of stress that we have in our life. And we've all heard all of the different ways, like get a good night's sleep, eat some healthy food, uh, go for a walk, exercise, do some breathing exercises, all of the above can help relieve stress. But one thing that many times we don't think about is the areas of our life that are not organized and the more we can make them organized, the less stress we will have in our lives. So Rachel, I completely relate to this. I have found that when I am more organized, the stress is less. So what tips do you have for us today? A big, big one is time management. I don't know about you, Christy, but I find sometimes in my life, um, time management is a struggle. I can do much better at certain times than others. And sometimes I really, it takes a lot for me to manage my time well. And I think a lot of people have this problem. Um, so when we think about time management, we all have activities to juggle. I know you have a family and activities at home as, as do two. My kids are in sports. Um, so between work and school and sports and um, other extracurricular activities. And then you think about how much time do I spend on the internet or watching TV or social media or all of those other activities in our lives. You think about all of the time that you devote to all of those activities. Um, and then you wonder why you're so stressed. Yes, Rachel, I think that is such a good point. It's so easy to get on social media. And before you know it, a half hour has passed. And so Absolutely. what could you have done with that time that would have alleviated stress later that sure. or later in the week? Sure. And also when we talk about um, time management, um, we want to think about and really try to recognize procrastination, if we are a procrastinator or not. And I think most people probably know if they are or if they're not. Um, and maybe it depends on the certain circumstance. You know, lots of times we think about procrastination and why do we procrastinate? You know, it could be that we procrastinate because we're just bored. Right. Or, you know, I have a tendency to procrastinate when the deadline for whatever the task may be is far out. I think, oh, I've got a lot of time to do that. I don't have to do it right now. Or I just don't, I'm not interested in it. So I just don't get on top of it. So we, we, when we can recognize um, why we're procrastinating, then we can try to get a hold of our time management a little bit better and probably be better at less procrastination in our lives. And that time management will really help out with uh, being more organized in our lives. So many good points, Rachel. And I know that you are going to be with us um, to continue our conversation. If you are watching and would like more information on organizing your lives, stay tuned and we'll see you next time.